What's up everybody? Welcome back to Kingfish Racing. It's been a really long time since I did a video, but today we're going to add something new to my racing rig. The beautiful racing rig right here. And we are going to add some mini little bass shakers. These are Dane Audio bass shakers. You can get a two pack for $25 on Amazon. We're going to add these to the pedals. One's going to be for the gas pedal, which will help with wheel slippage because we're going to set it up with Sim Racer Hub afterwards and do wheel slippage. And this one we're going to put on the brake, which hopefully we're going to set up for ABS. So whenever you're pushing on that brake a little too hard, this won't start to rumble. You know, you know what? Maybe I'm pushing a little too hard. We got our trusty knob sound amplifier. So I just wanted to give you a closer look at these are the Dayton Audio DAE X 25s. They are 20 watts max at 8 ohms. Um, here's the front and also the knob sound amplifier here. Um, here's your knob for lowering and hiring the volume. And then you have an auxiliary on off switch and the USB port. This is important because this has its own separate sound card. The reason why I like that it has its own USB sound card is you don't need to buy a new sound card for your PC. And if your sound card's already used for, let's say, headphones or something on your rig, then you don't need to buy a new sound card. It already has one already installed in it. This knob sound amplifier is uh, 50 watts times two because there's two channels here. And onto the Dane Audio. Base shakers again, it's nice that it has these connectors for the wires. It makes it a little easier. You don't have to solder anything. And here's the back. It comes with a little sticky tape, which we are going to utilize once we add them to my rig. Once again, these had arms here, these wacky arms, and I cut them off with a scissor because it's plastic. Let's do the install, and I'll show you guys what everything looks like and once it's done. Got a kind of a weird angle here, but I wanted to show you where I was going to install these uh, little shakers to my racing rig. The only issue I have is I'm gonna to have to cross these wires because this is the left, so that's gonna be my brake. I put some double-sided tape here, right here. That should not be a problem. And then this is my brake. Okay. Oh, that's really sticky. I think for the brake, we're just gonna place it right here. It fits right there perfectly. I mean, the only thing it would affect is if I ever wanna adjust it, but there's no reason I would adjust it. See how it doesn't touch anything? It was on there so well, it's peeling the tape off. So I think for the gas, we'll do the same thing. Just make sure it's not in the way. It's not. I think we'll place it right there. We have the knob sound amplifier, the shaker, and the other shaker. We're just going to put in the power and run our USB, and we're going to set it up on the computer, and I'll show you how that looks. All right, so I'm in my sim racing rig now, and we're going to pull up Sim Racer Hub. If you don't have it, download it. It's a free program, or you could donate. I recommend donating. These guys do an excellent job giving us a program that we can use. Click on this, the uh, bass shakers. And then I have two USBs down here at the bottom. This is my buck kicker, so we're going to ignore this one. And this top one is my shakers. So when you open yours, you'll see it's set to mono. You don't want to set the mono, otherwise both of them will go off at the exact same time. So we're going to go to custom channel map up to eight channels, okay? We're going to test which channels which so we know what we're dealing with here. All right, so that's my brake pedal, and channel two is my gas pedal. I have my feet on the brake. These other two channels you could ignore. If you want to make things clean, you could just turn everything off. So now that I have everything turned off, it just makes everything look cleaner. So... Right now, you could set it to whatever you want because we're customizing our channels. So you could set it to ABS if you'd like. That's up to you. You want to feel when your car jumps and lands, you can do that as well. Miss gears, fine. I mean, if you have a shifter and you want to add a base shaker to the shifter, you can do that as well. I want to pick the things that are going to help me the most in iRacing. I want to feel wheel slippage when I am racing with my gas pedal so i'm actually going to turn that on for all my tires my i'm a nascar driver so a lot of times i'm burning up my right front for the brake i want to feel when i'm locking up my brakes so i'm going to turn that on for the brakes and honestly that's all i personally want to feel when it comes to racing on my simulator on my feet i don't want to feel, feel anything else i don't need road impacts if i want that i can put it on my butt kicker underneath my seat so we're going to test that out in i racing and We'll, we'll do it together and we'll see how that feels. So we're here at the Roval and I really just want to do a quick lap 
I have it on my feet. And you'll notice that I actually changed the positions of where those shakers are. And the reason for that is because I couldn't feel anything where they originally put them. So it was a bad spot. But I'll tell you right now, like, if anybody's ever used the rumble shakers, um, this is a really good step up from them. Like, if you're using, like, the Fanatec V V3 pedals. Pick this track because I knew I'd slip and slide, especially on the first lap. Feel amazing. It's pretty cool. I I'm upset that I haven't tried this sooner. But it was such an easy and inexpensive setup to do. And it's a first by accident. I mean, I'm taking it really easy, but I feel it in my pedals. Um, it's definitely a uh, awesome immersion here. Wow, that was a really bad turn. Oh, I'm going to miss it. All right, so we did the one lap with the pedal, the, the shakers. Uh, it was a really piss poor lap, but with, nonetheless, we did a lap. I just wanted to feel how it was. Um, I wasn't going to break any records doing it, but it felt great. I think I may turn it up a little bit so I can feel a little more. But it's a very easy, quick, and inexpensive to add to your sim racing rig. And I highly recommend it, especially if you ever wanted to add some some more immersion to it. Well, listen, I'd like to thank you for watching Kingfish Racing today. I'm hoping to do more videos coming up. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.